Aspirin Team Together to realize our dream Human papillomaviruses, or HPV for short, are a group of non-enveloped DNA viruses that specifically infect human epithelial cells. There are over 100 different types of HPVs, which can be categorized by the epithelial cells they prefer to infect, like cutaneous epithelial cells of the skin, especially the face, hands, and feet, and epithelial cells of mucous membranes, especially the respiratory tract including the pharynx and nasal and oral cavities, and anal and genital regions. Some types can cause benign tumors, called papillomas or warts, and some can lead to carcinomas, or cancer of the epithelial cells. HPV may have contributed to both actor Michael Douglas's throat cancer diagnosis and former First Lady of Argentina Eva Perón's fatal cervical cancer. Epithelial cells line the outer surfaces of organs and blood vessels and separate the interior of the body from the external world. They primarily serve as a protective barrier to invasion by pathogenic bacteria, fungi, parasites, and viruses, and to water loss. In locations like the skin, anus, genitals, and respiratory tract, they can be stratified, having more than one layer of epithelial cells. At the base, the layer closest to the interior of the body, these cells are less mature, rounded stem cells, also called basal cells. Basal cells divide and replenish all the cells found in the epithelium. As the basal cells divide and mature, they move toward the outermost layer, flattening out and becoming more squamous-shaped in appearance. Once they reach the top layer, these mature, flat cells are exfoliated or shed from the epithelium. Now, typically, basal cells are well protected under all those layers. But if there are abrasions or cuts in the epithelium, HPV can gain access to and infect the basal cells. Once that happens, HPV can replicate with or without being incorporated into the basal cell's DNA through the activities of two particular viral genes called E6 and E7. The proteins of these genes cause dysregulation of tightly scheduled replication of the epithelial cells by altering the P53 and retinoblastoma protein, or PRB, tumor suppressor pathways that typically prevent unregulated growth of the epithelial cells. In this way, HPV causes uncontrolled replication of the epithelial cells, forming warts, and disrupts the normal structure of the epithelium, forming lesions. In some types of HPV infections, a squamous epithelial cell can become a coilocyte, or a cell with an irregular shape, enlarged and dark staining nucleus, and a clear area around the nucleus that's called a paranuclear halo. These cells are typically of precancerous lesions that can transform into carcinomas when the abnormal epithelial cells break through the basement membrane of the epithelium and invade other tissues. The cause of HPV infection is contact with infected epithelial cells. Some activities can increase the risk of exposure, like having multiple or new infected sexual partners or delivering a baby through an infected birth canal. And infections are more likely if a person is already immunocompromised. Transformation to carcinoma is dependent on HPV type and is aided by other cofactors like tobacco use, immunosuppression, and radiation. Now, many HPV infections are asymptomatic, but when symptoms are present, they can vary by HPV type. So, symptoms of non-genital cutaneous infections can involve some kind of benign wart. Common skin warts of the hands or nails are typically painless, dome-shaped projections that give the skin a rough appearance. Plantar warts on the soles of the feet can be painful and scaly, though. Flat warts of the face and extremities, particularly in the pediatric population, are often painless, small, smooth, and flat-topped, but numerous. Filiform warts of the face, particularly the eyelids and the lips, have long projections that appear thread or finger-like. 
and in rare cases where there's an underlying genetic disorder called epidermodysplasia verruciformis, a chronic cutaneous infection can start out as flatworts and transform into skin cancer. Infections of mucous membranes like the upper respiratory tract can cause respiratory papillomatosis and can lead to voice changes and high-pitched breath sounds, particularly if the larynx is infected. Anal and genital infections, like in the vulva, cervix, vagina, penis, or scrotum, can involve numerous warts called condylomata acuminata. They tend to be skin-colored and can range in size, but have a cauliflower-like look to their surface. Though they're typically painless, they can cause itching, burning, local pain, or bleeding. Now, HPV types 6 and 11 are responsible for the majority of laryngeal papillomatosis and genital warts, but they're considered low-risk HPVs because they don't tend to progress beyond warts. But high-risk HPV types like 16 and 18 have a high risk of transforming into cancers of the cervix, vagina, vulva, penis, anus, or upper respiratory tract over one or two decades. Warts are used to diagnose HPV, particularly in cutaneous infections. Infections of mucous membranes may require additional interventions to visualize epithelial cells. An endoscopy, a tube with a camera at the end, may be needed if an infection of the upper respiratory tract is suspected. And regular PAP or acetic acid tests of the cervix after 21 years old, even if symptoms are subclinical. But a definitive diagnosis of HPV cannot be made without molecular testing of biopsied cells for viral DNA or RNA. Therefore, treatments often center around removal of warts and precancerous lesions with salicylic acid products, liquid nitrogen cryotherapy, or laser or surgical removal. In cases of frequent reoccurrences, immune modifiers may be used to help boost the immune system to remove the infection on its own. Most HPV infections can resolve on their own over time, particularly with low-risk types and in younger people. But really, prophylaxis against infection is the best course. However, limiting contact with potentially infected persons or receiving the HPV vaccine before first exposure to an infection source can also be protective against several strains, including high-risk types 16 and 18. Condom use should also be considered a measure of prevention. All right, as a quick recap. Human papillomavirus is a DNA virus spread through contact that infects human epithelial cells of the skin and mucous membranes. Symptoms can range from warts to precancerous lesions and carcinomas. Definitive diagnosis can be made molecularly, and treatment can range from allowing the immune system to clear the infection to mechanical or chemical removal of infected cells.